Hello, Sean Bory here at Bory Audio Laboratories. I have uh, some new things that have been happening here. We're going to take a moment to look at an original Edison brown wax blank. First of all, this is an Edison blank dating in the eight, late 1890s to early, about 1900, but previous to 1901. So it's a brown wax blank, or I should say record. This is an actual original record. Let's look at the core specifically on an Edison brown wax record. If you notice, it starts there. You can see the spiral right here. And if we turn it exactly opposite end, you notice it starts down on that end. The opposite end, if you go to the top, you'll see it starts there. It starts at two points in the end of the record. Take a look again. See? starting there and starting there it's a double helix spiral there's two spirals one within the other it's the same on both ends take a look at this see it starts there and if you look at the top it starts up on the top this is very important the introduction of the new Bori audio laboratory recording blank which we have a couple of them here that have the new feature of being almost totally accurate, historically accurate blanks from the formula down to the spiral core. Double helix. See, it starts on that side, and if you put it up here, it starts up there. See, it starts up there, and then down there. Double helix spiral core, exactly like the original Edison blank. I've been striving. I use the Edison blank as my standard pattern. An original Edison blank is what I've always been trying to achieve. And notice the spiral spacing is even the same. We turn it around here. See how they're part of the spiral? And then it goes back and it has that part of the spiral. If we do the original Edison record, you'll find it has the same there. And then it starts again there. See? Double spiral core on brown wax Edison blanks. Let's give a listen to for surface noise. This is an original Edison record dating from the late 1890s, 19, 1898 to 1900. This is an original Edison record. This is an 1897 Edison home phonograph with automatic reproducer. So you hear, hear what that sounds like. That it has quite a bit of surface noise. And this is the blank by which all blanks are judged, is the Edison original blank. So let's listen to the surface noise of the new Bory Audio Laboratory blank. As you notice, it fits perfectly on the mandrel. See? Okay, now we put it down on the mandrel. Let's hear the surface noise content. Notice I did not change any microphone positions or anything. I think the proof is in the pudding that what I have done is uh, quite remarkable in, in quality assurance. So this is the new Bory Audio Laboratory blank. Notice it's pretty quiet. I'll even bring the microphone really close. Yeah, this is the new Bory Audio Laboratory recording blank. I don't think it can be beat. I've had a lot of pressure from collectors that, uh, you know, try to doubt what I can do and only pushes me harder. And this is the result. This type of blank. This is going to be my standard product. It should be this quiet. Should be good for making molded records or any kind of records you want to make out of this. You can get an extra length that fills the entire mandrel so you can send it to Vulcan to get turned into a hard epoxy record if you so desire 
you can ask them for the specifics on what their master records are supposed to be. Record on these as your master. Send them there and shouldn't have a problem making a nice, quiet record out of it. I mean, that's pretty nice master quality blank. Well, don't you agree? Thank you.